because every time I would like toss and turn, he was also doing the same. And I'm pretty sure that we were both awake pretty much all night. He said he woke up feeling terrible, like he doesn't feel good today. And I don't particularly feel good, but I don't feel bad either. Like I kind of have quite a bit of energy. I already did my workout and everything this morning over here and showered. I had some shrimp and avocado salad. I'm feeling good. I'm wearing jeans today, even though it's way too hot outside. But now we need to head to the post office. Vlogging comments. Silly me, I almost opened up my package before showing you guys because I had just tweeted a picture to Kyle and McKenna that I got my shirts. I actually ordered two of them this time. Sorry, it's so stinking loud in this car right now. Thanks, she gave me a bunch of business cards. Thanks, guys. And to our friends, I didn't get a go off shirt. I got this one in gray. And I got a blue tank top, which I'm probably going to end up wearing today because I'm super excited to wear these. Yay! Thank you guys! Calvin's really sad because his order got canceled because when they did a Teespring campaign with kids shirts, there wasn't enough kids shirts ordered. So Calvin's really, really bummed out that he doesn't get a new one. My other one gets super dirty. And his other one's super dirty. Maybe I'll see if one of mine can fit on him or something. I don't freaking know. But he's sad because he wants a new Got Love shirt, don't ya? Yeah. Now we're gonna head home while I'm jamming out to Gabby Hanna's new song. I think she only has one song, but it's called Out Loud, and I am so in love with it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a really good song, actually. I had no idea she had a voice like that, which is that's pretty awesome. Like I knew she could sing, but dang, I really like this song. The other Got Love shirts that I had ordered were both mediums and these ones are a bit more fitted. So I'm probably not going to wear them. Zeke, calm down your breathing. Calm down your breathing. Calm down. I probably won't wear them until I get in a little bit better shape because they fit me and I'm okay with the way they fit me. But my body is so curvy and I'm... I don't like how curvy I am. I don't like that my shoulders are way out here and then my waist goes way in here and then my hips go way out here and then my butt goes way out here. Like I don't, I don't like my body very much and I think once I can tone things up a little bit and this shape will go to more like a subtle kind of, you know, I don't know, just kind of like a, I don't know what I'm going for. More of like parentheses and not quite an arrow if that makes sense because right now it's like a very defined and I don't I don't like my waist looking that much smaller than my hips so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that first but I probably will wear my racer back because it is really cute I'll probably wear it when I work out and stuff and when I go to the gym I just want to look better in them first before showing them off I guess if that makes any sense I took the okay Calvin's wearing my gray one though because he doesn't have one. I guess I could have just ordered a small fitted one for him, right? That would work. I guess I could probably do that, yeah? Hmm. Yeah. We could do that later. Okay. Also, before we left, I had put coffee in my new travel mug that uh, they had sent me. Aladdin sent me a new cup because my last one, the lid broke like I had mentioned. And I made coffee, left it on the counter on accident with it closed, obviously. And when we came back, it's still warm these cups are so nice and they're so cute i just love them they're just like little and cute and i love it what are you doing sitting on the seat <laughs> why <laughs> I should have just ordered you one, huh? Yeah. 
a regular size person shirt, even though it's like a dress on you. <laughs> Calvin's wearing a got love dress. Cookie brownies going in the oven for Travis and his shift. We made gingerbread cookies and cookie brownies, and we're taking this whole thing to Travis's work. Also grabbing an apple with some almond butter, and I'm bringing this camel back full of water. Ice water. But my phone is still dying, so I'm gonna have to try to keep it plugged in somehow. We just stopped by the post office because we actually had another package. It was the cornhole bags that Travis had ordered the other day um, for this latest project he's working on. We have our cookie brownies and gingerbread cookies, and Calvin was falling asleep on the way here, so I had to give him one. Yeah. Now we're gonna head in and give, nine, this, nine. give this to Daddy, and then head to the seawall. I didn't want to leave them at the house because I didn't want to eat them. Cookie brownie or? Gingerbread. Oh or one of each. <laughs> That's where we're going next. And it looks like there's a wall of rain. Not sure if we're gonna get rained on or not. So much for going for a run. I kind of screwed that up because we stopped at Travis's work and I stayed there too long talking because he was working on another going away and I wanted to see what he was doing. So I just stayed and stayed and stayed. And then it was six o'clock and the Garcias were gonna come over at about six o'clock because we've been planning to have a barbecue. And it's now 6.30. I'm mostly ready with everything. I just started the grill and everything. And Travis still isn't home. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he was pretty much ready to leave when I left, except for them deciding they needed to do more things. I have no idea. It's not even like work at this point. It's just extra projects he was working on. So I don't, I don't know what's happening, but I told them they can come over anytime. I'm just kind of trying to clean up a little bit because you know, I like to have our house look nice when people come over, though they know we're complete slob kebabs and we live like savages. They're used to it. They know. I still want it to look decent and uh, she can take her Tupperware back that we've been hoarding for the last freaking couple of months. I don't even know how long it's been. It's now 7.30, all the food's done. Travis is outside working on cornhole boards because why not work on painting things while I'm grilling things? That makes sense. I made some baked beans with extra bacon. And then we have steak, fruit salad, and some, um, whatever those are, gingerbread cookies. <laughs> I was trying to think of the type of cookie that they were. Um, <laughs> the kids are probably destroying Calvin's room right now, but I don't even care because we haven't seen them in a little while. And we only have days left until we leave. Whoa. So our time's kind of limited, and I want to be able to hang out with them as much as we can before we leave. So, But we're all going to get some food. And the plan was I wanted to play cornhole later, but it's already dark, so that's not going to happen. I've been manning the grill, and I'm sweating. Really? Yeah. For what? Best non ever? Everyone is done eating now because it's 9.40. And I just had to point out because Joey did it while they were here. <laughs> People always get so confused. Actually, Angel did it too. Where our forks are. They always look like in these drawers because normal people put their forks and spoons and knives in drawers. But we don't because Travis doesn't like them in drawers. So they sit out on the counter. And even though they're sitting out like that, people are always like, where are your forks? Where are your utensils? And we'll look in the drawers and they're not there because they're sitting in plain sight. Nobody leaves their utensils out like that, but us, because we're weird. It's mostly Travis. I really don't care where they go, but he wants them on the counter. So they go on the counter. Out, loud. Is this California shaped? It should be. good? Yeah. You scared me. Oh, Bye, friends. Bye, Bye friends. Bye. See you later. See ya. Bye. Calvin's been like too big for all of his clothes forever. Like these are 40. We're getting a little bit more life out of them by stretching them out a little bit. Because <laughs> they're too small. And now they fit. Put your arms up in the air. <laughs> Perfect size, huh? He has to pull them down every time. Oh, the feet are too small. <laughs> booty, 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 booty. Are you ready for bed? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just make you 
butt. What are you gonna do? I just. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me. Do you want to say good night to our friends? It's almost ten thirty. Why are you doing this? Bye, Brian. That's not how you say bye. <laughs> what do you say? Can you tell him that you can spell your name real quick? I need a two. Yeah, you split it up into two pieces. It starts with a C. T A L V I N. You did it! Cal! Calvin! Yeah, but it's just cow. Cow. Yeah. Not cow. Calvin? Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> Calvin! Calvin! Yeah! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you turn into a savage? Hey, don't hurt me, please. Don't hurt me. That's what he does when he gets tired. Yeah, that's true. I think tomorrow we're going to the beach for a little while. Right? Mm-hmm. Barbecue at the beach. Are you excited? No? Not excited? Okay. So for now, that is that. Yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Bye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>